What's going on you guys and welcome to another episode of the Pond Chronicles and today I'm coming at you with another brand new episode using another brand new bait that you have never seen on this channel whatsoever and that is the Nico Pinworm. So today I have one goal in hand. The Nico Pinworm is another finesse style bait. You use it mainly for pan fishing. You can catch bass. You can catch really anything on it. So today I'm using it on a um, 64th ounce trout magnet with a pink head and Here's that, exactly what the pinworm is, right there. Bam. It is a roughly two and a half to three inch pan worm. Look, kind of looks like a little rat tail or however you want to put it. But I've got three colors here. I have the chartreuse, I have some pink ejection, and then last but not least, we have a watermelon and red flake. So my goal is simple, to get out here and try to catch at least two fish on each one of these colors. I'm out here at the nice, quiet, beautiful golf course and just to see if I can get it done. It doesn't have to necessarily be a bass. It can be any fish whatsoever. So, that's enough talking. Let's get on. Let's get done. There we go. First one on there. Woo, first one on the pinworm. Ladies and gentlemen, the first bass I've ever caught on the pinworm. He's a small guy, but hey, we do not discriminate at all. Look at that, guys. He devoured that worm. Again, this is what I'm using right here, guys. I've got three different colors with me today. But it's on a pink 164th ounce trout magnet. Let's put him back in there. It's a nice little guy. Let's try to get one more. I'd like to try to get at least two on each of these colors I've got. Kind of like a little slam, so to speak. This four pound line is perfect for throwing this. There we go. There's another one. Little guy, but I got him. I got him. There's number two. Number two on the pinworm. Said he was hungry. When they're hungry, you gotta make them eat. So that's two. And one just busted up. Oh, you probably, guys, might have saw it. Let's bust him out. There we go. Look at him one more time, then we'll cut him loose. Nice little donkey. Get him in there. Boom. That's the thing about these real small ones. When they hit, you really don't know they're on there until you just see your line move. So that's one of the three colors that's been used. Nico Pinworm and Chartreuse, right there. So, what should we go with next? You wanna try, we can do the pink, go pink and pink, or we can go with Watermelon Red. You know what, we've done Chartreuse, so let's go with pink and pink. Got the pink on the pink. Bait number two is going in the water. You think it's going? I'll be able to catch one quicker than the, the chartreuse tail? Or not? The only pink banks I've really used at this spot is uh, 
I used a shrimp here earlier. And I've used a rooster tail in paint. So maybe this will pan out good. Come on, man. Yeah, that pink's really not. I should have just stayed with the chartreuse, I guess. But I wanted to be able to catch at least two fish on the three colors I had with me. There we go. There we go. The first one on the pink. First one on the pink pinworm. First one on the pink. On the pink. He's on the pink. Beautiful little fish. I'll name this one Amanda. Amanda, this one's for you. And look guys, see how it's hung up? All you gotta do is just pop it off, slide it back on, bam, perfect. Perfecto. Let's try one more. We need one more. Then we'll go to the last and final one. There we go. It's number two. Number two on the pink. A little bit bigger. We got him. We got him. And he broke me off. Oh. Well, that line's a little bit old anyway, but hey, I'll take him. That's another one on the pink pinworm. Beautiful. Let's get him back in there. I got to find him. Guys, this is what we were using. It broke off a head. Right here. A pink pin one from Nico. All right, guys, this is the last and final color of the day. The watermelon red flake. And yes, I probably could put a black trout magnet head on it or a gold one. I think I might even have some other chartreuse ones, but I figured, why not? If it works, 
if it ain't working or if it ain't broke don't fix it so we're keeping with the pink head guys these pinworms to me slowly became an awesome little piece of the arsenal right here Usually there's something over there at that. There we go. I knew there was one over there. I knew it. Yes. Got him. Got him. And he goes flying off. See if I can find him. Huh. There he is. Yep. Oh, what the heck. He's moving around. Oh, there he goes. He's gone. Well, I had him. I landed him. And he came off. Ugh. Ugh. We had one objective. Catch at least two fish on each one of these colors of pinworms. Now let's break it down. The first color we used was a chartreuse. We got two pretty quick. I um, actually lost one while I was on the phone with my wife, but hey, a fish is a fish, and you've seen two fish caught on this pinworm. Up next, we use the pink worm. A little pink on pink action. The bite was a little bit slower, but once it started getting hit, guess what? We were able to connect with two. We got two donkeys off of that one. They weren't the biggest in the world, but hey, we're here just to see if it'll work. And then last but not least, which is still partly unfinished, the watermelon red flake worm. Still on the pink trout magnet hit. Um, we got some hits there. Went over here, got to the deck area, and I cast it right here at that very spot. Right there you see that waterfall. Right there, guys, right there. It took me three tries, but I knew there was going to be at least one there waiting on me. And I finally was able to connect with one actually got him on the deck got him to the thing to the little cabinet here so i could get a better hand on him and he broke off and he ended up going back in the water but we saved the bait so i'm counting that as a partial so we still need to catch one more actually two if you want to call it that way because i didn't get any pictures with it but you saw it on camera so all in all the finesse pinworm the nico pinworm right here has become another one of my arsenal um, when it comes to just that bite is slow, if I just want to do some pan fishing or exploring a brand new spot. Guys, don't be afraid to step out of the box to try new lures because you never know what. That could be your next go-to lure as far as finding the next donkey or just getting out there and have a good day of fun. Guys, thank you so much for watching today. If you like this episode, hit that like button. Check out the rest of the channel. And if you hadn't already joined Pond Predator Nation, hit that red play button right there on the right-hand side. Also, Tell me what your favorite color is. Which one is your favorite here to use? Which one you'd like to try to use? You never know. I may feature one of those colors in one of my next giveaways. And last but not least, if you want to be one of the first people to know when that next episode of the Pond Chronicles drops, hit that bell on the right-hand side. So until next time, guys, give a man a fish, leave for a day, but teach him and he'll never go hungry again. Tight line, everybody. Later.